already did the first part of this on Instagram. This is a twin flame reading. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. This person does feel like they need to rush in and seize the moment. They feel like they're missing out on an opportunity because they overthink. But I feel like this person's working on that. We are going to get the tea on what's going on with them and like what is their intentions when they come in and like how are things going to be. Um, but this person does feel like, you know, I feel like they've um, left behind a lot of things. Look, the world on the bottom of the deck actually as I'm saying that. But they've left a lot of things behind. They could have had a lot of things going for them or maybe whatever it was that was in their life once made them happy but it's no longer serving them and so they are walking their spiritual path they're going towards you know feeling a lot more fulfilled i feel like this person's starting to get a lot of their momentum or their energy back i feel like things are starting to flow for them ace of wands there's this new type of energy that this person is feeling something sparked within them and it made them totally want to you know shift gears here I feel like this person has been bringing peace to a lot of their fears and their doubt with the moon and the eight of swords right above each other. I feel like that's something that has caused this connection to end up being a missed opportunity. But I do feel like there's another shot at this. The Ace of Cups as I say that. I literally just saw that in my head. So that's why I pulled the card just to clarify. And this is a new opportunity. Okay. The Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck too. I was like, let me just see the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so I want to see what's going on with this person. You may have two offers that are coming in for you. One from your twin flame. You have happy, happy. These offers that are coming in are going to make you excited. I feel like it brings back feelings. It brings back some type of spark. Um, you have no place like home. Like You could have felt really lonely. You could have been secluding yourself. You could have been doing a lot of healing. Um, for yourself in hermit mode I'm hearing look clean it up as I'm saying it you guys might be doing a lot of renovations to your home maybe you're rebuilding your home remodeling it or something or spring cleaning summer whatever I just feel like you guys are getting rid of a lot of things that are no longer serving you and they are also doing the same thing and I just feel like you guys are coming back look a change in the wind and the fates you guys are coming back together because you're supposed to. There's something else that's got to happen here, okay? You know, I feel like you guys obviously have this soul contract to live out together. So we are going to find out their intentions coming in. The Ten of Swords. I feel like this ended pretty badly. It doesn't mean that it ended in like cheating, lying, betrayal. It could mean that. But I feel like it was something that was very difficult for you to get over. And also for this person too as well. Because you guys are mirroring each other. Right? You're mirrored um, souls basically. The King of Pentacles. The Empress. And the Seven of Wands. I feel like this person is going to shock you when they come in. I feel like they're going to be very protective of you. They also might be somebody that stands up for you now and always will. Like if somebody was like saying anything bad about you, the eight of wands, if there's conversations going on about you, this person will stick up for you. Um, the sun, you know, I feel like this person's intentions are actually like pretty good here. It's like they want to nurture you. They want to prove to you that they could be reliable. I feel like they've been holding back communication for a very long time but it's like they just need to get things off their off their chest out their heart they need to kind of let you know things you guys may be unsure of how they feel look the eight of swords the two of cups and the seven of cups you may be unsure of how they feel because they, they were never really able to show you i just seen the strength card leo um I think this person has made a lot of changes, and I feel like this person's about to show you a whole different side to them. Okay, there could have been an addiction here. This person could have been ignoring you for a very long time. Like I said, they were trying to avoid you. You could have a lot of messages like that they didn't read, but the things that I feel like they did, they just marked them as unread. You could do that. Homelessness. Then you have no place like home. I feel like you guys feel empty without each other like you guys may have a lot in your life but there's still that part of you that feels like you just miss each other it's like you guys just want to have each other back in your lives right flings wild things this person could have been somebody that was like from person to person maybe they didn't really want to settle down or they couldn't really 
you know, stick around in any long-term connections. They may have some type of wild side to them. They also may be somebody that wears a mask, wears a mask, especially to you. Um, you have woke. So, like, this person's starting to be more awake to this connection and understand things on more of a deeper level. You have exposed, truth revealed. There could have been something, poetic justice, retribution. It's like this person wants to come back and make things better, okay? There could have been some lies that came out about this person, or there could have been some things that they were blocking themselves from seeing, but now it's coming out, the Knight of Pentacles. They've been doing a lot of work about this. Okay, the Knight of Wands, two Knights back to back, and the Ace of Cups. They are having a hard time doing work. It's like, you know, I feel like they had their eye on a goal, right? Their mind is, I keep on seeing the Eight of Swords, by the way. This person is like an uh, overthinker and a half. But the Knight of Pentacles, this person's been doing so much work. But every time it's like they're starting to get to like their goal, they go backwards, right? It's like, this could be like a habit. This could be an addiction. Maybe this person drinks alcohol. Maybe this is a relationship that they were stuck in. Maybe this was them trying to make changes for themselves. Whatever this was, it could be anything. Look, the death card here and the seven of pentacles. There's progress being made, okay? There's lessons being learned. There's things that are closing out and ending. I feel like this person's supposed to come back. And I've seen the eight of swords multiple times. And I've seen the ace of cups multiple times. I feel like this person may have blocked out love, okay? And I feel like that was a way to kind of guard themselves. I do feel like there is somebody that maybe they like to be alone. The Justice card, Libra energy, strong Libra energy here. I just feel like they were just doing that because that's how they felt like they could protect themselves. Love could have scared them. May, you know, I'm going to pick up on their childhood. The Judgment card. The devil, they could have had a toxic childhood for whoever this is resonating for. Love you, mama. Um, that's my daughter. Um, the ace of pentacles. They started brand brand new. They had a toxic childhood. They could have been like judged for everything. They may have had to always bow down. Um, but, uh, but the thing is that I feel like they were always looked out by like angels. Okay, they could have had toxic parents or, or parents that were overly protective and didn't really let them like live their life. They could have felt like they were always judged. Maybe they feel like they didn't have a voice and that could be another reason why this person doesn't speak up. Okay, the Knight of Swords, it could be very angry. With the Knight of Swords, the judgment and the devil. Like, it's a very angry, toxic childhood. They could have been like, you know, abused or verbally abused or it's just like they felt like they were... And, you know, they had no control over anything. They felt like they couldn't really be a child. They could have had responsibilities early on. Like, they may have had to have a job when they were younger. Like, right when they turned, like, 15 or 16 or whatever was legal for them. And the Knight of Cups. I feel like they always tried to please them. And it was like everything that they did was just never enough. Okay? This part isn't going to resonate for everybody. But if you're dealing with somebody who has a hard time... You know, with all of these things, it's because this person literally suffered from it as a child. And it's like, I feel like they were a kind-hearted child. A kind-hearted, yes, child. I just feel like the things that they've been through has literally made their heart turn cold. And it's like they didn't lose this heart that they have. They just learned how to put a wall around it, you know. And I just feel like this person seems very guarded. Because every time they try to, you know, do things the right way, it was like, you know, you need to do things better or you're not good enough or no, it's, you know, that's not what I wanted. I just feel like this person always tried to please people and instead they got angry or yelled at or snapped at. And it's just like this person has a guard because, you know, they didn't have that nurturing, loving energy that they needed. It could have been very abusive or maybe their parents had addictions and they could also have addictions because that's what they saw. It's like they do what they saw, but now they're making changes because it's not fun. You know, the life that they're living. Magician, they're making multiple changes. They're also starting to realize within themselves that they have everything that they need in order to make the changes that they want. There are some people in their life that they're going to have to completely cut out. And let go of, or at least try to forgive and move on from. What do they want you to know? The Five of Cups. They miss you. 
That's a sense of loss. They feel a loss without you in their life. The King of Swords, they see clearly now. They could have also listened to other people, which in turn made them lose you. The Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person sees clearly now that they had patterns that you saw. I feel like you've brought it to their attention and they didn't want to listen or they weren't fixing it. They regret it. They see clearly now. It's like what you said to them is true and they know that. The death card. And they're making changes. Like they've learned from the past. They're changing. They are becoming, you know, a different person. They're no longer who they used to be. Who are they coming up as now? The Knight of Cups again. Do you see what I'm saying? This was a them as a child. And this is still them. They still have this pure heart, this pure soul, this angelic spirit. You know, I feel like this person's very spiritual or they're very connected. Like they have a lot of angels around them. I feel like this person has been through the dark night of the soul maybe even multiple times. And it was very difficult to get out of that. And it's like it never changed who they are. If anything, it made them love even more. It made them, you know, you guys may have not been able to see that or maybe you did. I just feel like this person kind of had to... It's like you were brought into their life to show them what love was, to show them what nurturing is, to show them what reliability is, to show them that they can count on, you know, somebody. Um, and I just feel like this person, since things have gone separate ways, they've had a lot of time to think things through. The Four of Pentacles and the Sun. They know that they were holding on to things that were not serving them. They know that they could have been greedy. They know that they were too um, uptight or too uh, closed off. But with the Six of Swords, like I said, this person's detaching. They're trying to move forward. Okay, They're trying to let go of the past. And they are. But it is a process. You know, It's in the works. What is the timing for when this person comes back? The Ace of Swords. That could be like now. That's the truth. This person's coming in with the truth. This is a quick energy. This person may come really, really quickly within the next three months, the Three of Cups, you're going to be happy when this person comes in. The Eight of Swords, but you're also going to be in your head about it. And I understand because Twin Flames are hard. They, there's a lot of back and forth. You're going to be unsure if, if this person's uh, meaning what they're say, or saying or if they're going to follow through on what they tell you. You also may consider this person like somebody that's, I don't know, weak-minded I'm hearing or somebody that feels powerless or maybe they feel like they have no control over their life. Maybe you've witnessed something like that about them, but they're getting out of it, okay? So for some of you guys that feel like this person's never going to change, I feel like this person is and they're shifting a lot of things in their life right now for the better. Getting a message from their soul. You have getting nowhere. You may need to adjust the lens of your life, change your mindset, and change your lifestyle. You can still th turn things around. This person's being guided from spirit. It's like a compass. Do you hear that noise? This person's being guided from spirit to get out of a stuck situation. You have divine feminine. I feel like this person might be the feminine. If not, they're tapping more into their feminine energy. Like I said, they're opening up their heart. They came up as the Knight of Cups, somebody who's romantic, somebody that, you know, sent from the heavens, basically. You guys are somebody that, the little things. This person is being sent to you by the angels, okay? It says, finding the little things in your everyday life that make you happy. It says, find the little things in your everyday life that make you happy, and one day you'll realize that they are the big things. That's what's going on in this person's brain right now. It's like they're starting to realize, like, what's important, you know, and how important this connection is. I just seen 14, 14. I wasn't even going to check the bottom of the deck, but it's something kept on telling me. You have reconciliation. What? Yeah. Yeah. There is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise. Try to find the middle ground between the two points. If this is not your twin flame, this can be somebody that your soul is resonating with. Somebody that's literally um, vibrating on the same frequency. Somebody that's mirroring your energy, your life. You know, um, 
your future goals, okay? This is somebody that's coming in that's meant for you. And um, I do see that you guys are really nervous about giving this person a shot, but you're never going to know unless you try, okay? I will say that. But also, if this person's coming in and they're not showing you that they're ready, do not put your life on hold for them, right? So, anyway, I hope this resonates. And if it does, please like and subscribe subscribe i can never ever ever talk anyway take care my little lovesies have a good day see ya